How many times have you accidentally pressed the Netflix button on the UB820 remote? And be honest. I don't know about you, but I have done this so many times in the dark. Uh, it happened often enough to the point that I was considering selling the UB820 and taking the expensive plunge and buying the UB9000 almost solely for the remote. But that is just ridiculous. So I set out on another solution and I found a really inexpensive solution. So stick around, let's talk about it. I'm Barrett, this is Spec of Tech. Welcome to the channel. I wanted to do this video really quick in hopes that it'll help a lot of you out there. I know I missed releasing a video last week, but it's just really tough uh, to work out of town as much as I do and then come home and immediately start making videos. I also had a two day firearms course training uh, that I needed to complete. I also had to package up and ship out my legacy Focus SEs. And on top of that, of course, I do need to spend time with my family. Uh, I also sold the Tuscany chairs and had the new chairs come in. So it's just been super busy and I can't wait until I can make enough money on YouTube to be able to do this full time. But until then, life takes priority sometimes, so I didn't release a video. That being said, consider subscribing to help me reach my goal. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a member by clicking the join button down below, or you can also consider joining me on Patreon. And as always, take just one little second out of your day and hit that like button. All right, so let's get back into the video. This UB820 remote, right here uh, has been a thorn in my side and preventing me from a life of bliss with my otherwise amazing Panasonic UB820 4K Blu-ray player. I can't count how many times I wanted to hit the up arrow on the remote in the dark and then accidentally press the Netflix button. Yes, there is a tiny notch on the up arrow key, but it just isn't enough. Uh, and as soon as you hit that Netflix button, you are stuck waiting for the slow UB820 to take you to Netflix, uh, which takes you entirely out of the movie uh, that you're watching, or at least the experience. And then you wait for the slow UB820 to get you back to that movie, and then you can hit play. I know this is truly a first world problem, but a problem all the same. I've read comments from others online who were frustrated with this remote as well, and I realize I'm not the only one that dislikes this remote. That is why I decided to make this video in hopes it will help all of you out there that uh, also dislike the UB820 remote. But there is also one other big problem with the remote in my opinion, besides the extremely annoying Netflix button placement, um, and that is that it isn't backlit. I feel for the price that you pay for the Panny UB820 that you should at least get a backlit remote. I mean, who watches movies with the lights on? I absolutely love the picture quality of the UB820, but this remote takes away from that love. So I decided I was going to do something about it. First, I considered buying the UB820's uh, bigger brother, the UB9000. Besides the fact the UB9000 has a more premium build quality and some improvements for those that would be using it for music, it also has a much better remote that places the Netflix button far enough away to avoid accidental presses, and it also is backlit. But that unit is about 1300 Canadian dollars. Is it really worth it to spend that much more considering my main issue is the, just the remote? Well, that just doesn't seem like a good solution. So this was a job for Amazon. Sure enough, after a short search, I found the solution to my problem, a remote that is exactly like the official UB9000 remote, but it's unbranded and very reasonably priced at $22.99 Canadian dollars or only $10.99 US dollars. What a steal. Of course, I was a little concerned about the quality, but for 23 bucks, it was worth a try. Amazon delivered it to me in two days, thanks to it being an Amazon Prime item. And when I removed it from the generic packaging, I was impressed by the quality. Uh, it was pretty standard remote quality made of all plastic and some rubber feeling buttons. It really reminds me of mini TV remotes that I've had in the past. So I threw in a couple of AAA batteries and started testing. All the buttons operated as they should without any hiccups. The only button that is missing that the UB820 remote has is the HDR setting button. That button has about four preset HDR brightness settings that you can cycle through. Uh, you can accomplish the same thing on the upgraded remote by pressing the option button and then under video settings, go to uh, optimum HDR adjustment and then change the dynamic range adjustment to your preference. That is literally the only compromise I could find by switching to this upgraded remote. But this remote adds some buttons that the UB820 remote doesn't have, like some quick 10 second rewind and a 60 second fast forward button. Uh, there's also a quick access button to the sound effects and a dim button that cycles through the different brightness options for the UB820's front display. 
But the one button I love the most is the light button. Press that and the remote lights up like the 4th of July. It is a little bright, uh, but I will take a little bit bright versus not being backlit at all any day of the week. Just take a look at how much brighter it is than my backlit Anthem AVM70 remote. It almost makes the AVM70 look like it's not lit at all. One odd feature that they included was that the bottom row of four buttons, as well as the light and dim button, do glow in the dark. So after pressing the light button, those six buttons will glow for a while afterward. I guess it's kind of helpful to find the six buttons without pressing the light button again, but still kind of odd that they didn't make all of the buttons glow in the dark or some more important buttons glow in the dark instead of these six buttons. I tested all the functionality I could with the remote and I found it does everything that the UBA20 remote can do and more. I'm extremely happy that I decided to check Amazon for a solution. I've dropped the links down in the description below for those of you that would like to upgrade your remote as well. Even if you lost or broke the remote for your Panasonic UB9000, this would be a great inexpensive replacement. I can't speak for the longevity of it, uh, but for the price, it's definitely worth trying out for anyone out there looking to up their UB820 remote game. Make sure you guys do stay tuned on the channel for some more videos on the Paradigm Founder series, which you can probably see behind me there. Uh, I also have the new Valencia Ultimate Luxury Seating that I'm gonna be doing some videos on and some other very cool videos that I have planned. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tick the bell icon if you do. Please take just one tiny little second out of your day to hit that like button. Remember to enjoy your systems with your shiny new remote. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cause I've been